Kajol and Schilke are the two holding midfielders. Schilke has already made her first team debut at 16 years of age. Nehu, Nitu and Anita will be the midfield three. With Linda, who scored a hat-trick in the final warm-up game, she will play as the lone striker, number nine, for Thomas Denneby's side. In that formation, 4-2-3-1. Is that the formation that can put a little bit of pressure under the USA? Can match passes off equally as smoothly. As we take a look at the USA team, they go with a 4-1-2-3 formation, very attacking from Natalia Astren, the Spanish coach. Victoria Safradin won the Golden Glove in qualifying. Ala Emery is one of six new faces in the squad from qualifying. Captain Riley Jackson won the Golden Ball as the best player in the Dominican Republic. Melina Rembibas will be at the centre of the front three. She's the USA's joint top scorer at this level with eight goals in ten games. So Jackson will sit just in front of the back four with Martino and Cola either side in front of her. Suarez, Rembibas and Gamero are those front... <laughs> So we're underway, it is India in the light blue that will kick off, kicking from left to right in the first half. USA all in white. It's nice to see that the, uh, the USA have got black numbers on their white shirts. The last time I saw the USA, King, Jackson. We saw a good battling performance from Morocco in the first game against Brazil. India will need to come up with a similar kind of endeavour to, to keep the USA at bay. Here's Rembimbas, slipped through to Suarez. Just keeps the ball in play, but then Charlie makes the save. First touch for the goal. in on that occasion. So once again, similar routine. Now a bit of movement from Gamera. They played it short this time. Back to Jackson. Nice little spin. Five waiting in the middle. Jackson buys herself a little bit of space. Can she pick out a white shirt? Yes, she can. And Rembimbas guides the ball into the bottom corner. And the USA have scored early on here. Eight minutes gone. But they have conceded a goal. And it's Melina Rembimbas who scores it. Well guided in. Rambimbas. Thompson. Rambimbas. Gamero. Already seen plenty of the ball. Lovely skills again from Gamero. Time to pick a spot. Took a deflection. And goes behind for another corner. India very much under the cosh here. Today. It's very interesting formation from a corner. Zonal marking from India. Overcomes the corner again. And the header from Kola makes it 2 down. Charlotte Kola. A good header. Another interesting story. Her dad, Will, played at the 1991 Under-17 Women's... Uh, men's World Cup, sorry, in Italy as a 16-year-old. Was part of the team that beat Italy... So Still looking for a first goal for the under-17s, but Gamero has made it three. That was a mistake. In defence, trying to play the ball out, caught on the edge of the penalty area. And that's the danger. Good pressure. It's a mistake from Panima. Jackson again with the corner. Much more height on this one, all the way to the back post, they're queuing up in the middle. And eventually Anjali gathers. Well, that's uh, good defending that time for him, but the, the foot of an American. Just in behind Gamero. <laughs> Neha with the free kick. Oh, There's too much on it again, and he goes so behind him. To get forward, Gamero's right behind her in support. Jackson. Lifted in, just too high for Martino. Comes back out again. And another one fighting by Rembimbas for a second goal of the game. Well placed, brilliantly struck. Look at that, 17 Women's World Cup. Here we 
Lewis saying coming forward again and squeezed in beyond Anjali. And it's another goal. It's Thompson, the fullback, who gets in on the act this time. India now by five goals to nil. Thompson nicely done, cut inside Astam and pull the trigger. Maybe caught Anjali a little bit unawares. He's on a weaker side as well, he was on a right foot. On a left foot rather, the right back. And she's guided it into the bottom corner. Into stoppage time at the end of the first half. There is no stoppage time in fact. So India's misery is over for 45 minutes at least, but they've got another 45 minutes to endure here. Rembimbas scored twice, he got the scoring underway after not very little ball of the ball inside the USA half. They were scored down. Half time then in uh, the So USA as I say winning by five goals to nil here. From Rambimbas, Kola, Gemet. USA starting their second half, much as they finished the second. First, Rambimbas didn't get any power in the shot, blocked in front of goal. In what a poor clearance, it's put uh, the side right back under pressure. Right back since the introduction of Fraser at the start of the second half. Bugger's dropped in alongside Emery at centre-back. Here's Suarez. Pushed away by Anjali, pushed back into play. Martinho can't quite get there. It's going to be another call from the USA. Suarez finding that little bit of space out wide. Corner. Well, that's headed in. Did the whistle not go there? I thought I heard a whistle then. It was headed in by Emery this time. It's another mark. It's another headed goal that's undone India. It makes it 6 0. Goal scoring four. Probably the tallest player on the pitch, Emery. She's a long way out there to get that header in as well. It was a lot of power in it beyond Nanjali. out of the way of the goalkeeper great header forward again by Buta who's uh, slotted into that central role that Jackson occupied in the first half pretty well Rembimbas Suarez Buta can't get the uh, shot away though not wide to Fraser trying to get to the byline in behind the defenders and Suarez can't get some young women soccer players yesterday in this area in Odisha and they donated a, a lot of kit and stuff to them of course just to help them try and improve themselves as footballers lovely little back hill Gamero fired over the top great opportunity lovely build up from Jackson Ball again out to Gamero, finding plenty of space. They all seem to pick out a white shirt, the USA. Cola on a forward run, that has to be a penalty. And the referee points to the spot. And a chance for the USA to get another goal. Their pace has caused all the problems once again. Kajal came across and made the challenge. It seemed fairly straightforward. Yeah, clear penalty. Yeah. Cola taken out by Suarez against Anjali this to put the USA into a 7-0 lead against the hosts up she comes rolled into the bottom corner very coolly done by Taylor Suarez and the USA against a very very good side and Charlie gets right but it was placed well out of her reach by seven goals to nil Gamero Cola 
Buta, look for the counter! Wonderful finish! Well, she's got her roots in India, and she's put another night to the heart of the host nation. The half-time substitute. From high school, she'll enrol at Stanford University in January. But she's putting herself on the map here in footballing terms. Brilliantly curled beyond Anjali. And the USA lead 8-0. And India's under-17s are heading for their biggest ever defeat. Not the way they wanted to start the tournament. Kola, who won the penalty. Looking to get to the byline, drops the shoulder, gets past Kajal. Can she come up with a good cross? And Jali pushes away. It's bobbling around and eventually the USA once again. Nicely pulled back. Rempimbas could save Anjali. Shivangi will take the throw, but there is no time to take the throw. The whistle goes from our Ecuadorian referee, and Natalia Astrain sees her side with a comfortable win over Thomas Equals. Dennis, India's biggest ever defeat, and gave the USA their biggest ever win. But a dominant performance by...